What if I told you that one cup of coffee can reprogram your brain in just 10 minutes? The moment coffee touches your lips, your brain prepares for impact. As the warm liquid slides down your throat, it rushes straight into your stomach, where acids immediately begin pulling caffeine out of every drop. Within minutes, that caffeine surges into your bloodstream and begins its mission hijacking the very receptors that make you feel tired. Normally, your brain uses a chemical called adenosine to slow things down and signal fatigue. But caffeine blocks those signals like a shield. Suddenly, your brain thinks you're energized, even if your body isn't. Your adrenal glands jump into action, releasing adrenaline, the fight-or-flight hormone, giving you sharper focus, a faster heartbeat, and that powerful sense of alertness. Inside your liver, enzymes begin breaking down caffeine, turning it into smaller compounds that travel through your body and boost circulation, warm your muscles, and slightly raise your metabolism. Meanwhile, your stomach produces more acid, helping digest food faster, or causing that familiar burn if you drink coffee on an empty stomach. In your brain, dopamine levels rise, giving coffee its mood-lifting, feel-good effect, the same chemical pathway triggered by chocolate and mild euphoria. But there's a flip side. Once the caffeine wears off, your adenosine receptors come back stronger, causing the dreaded crash, sudden tiredness, irritability, and cravings for another cup. Too much coffee can make your heart race, dehydrate your body, and disrupt sleep by staying in your system for up to six hours. One cup can sharpen your mind. Too many can overload your system. This is what really happens inside your body when you drink coffee. Subscribe for more videos about how food affects your body, explained with stunning medical.